anything to ever breathe. Black power! Black power! Black power! It's not an accident that all of our administration is white. Right. It's not an accident. That is systematic as I'm tired of white people talking about what black and brown people need. You don't know. You and the police. Gosh, there was a lot of beeping in there, wasn't there? More liberal campus outrage, this time at Evergreen State College up in Washington State. Student activists there demanding that no whites participate in what's called a day of absence. Instead, white students and staff would be forced to leave the campus for the day. You know, just when you think you've heard it all, you truly haven't, and this is one of those cases. Joining me now, Stephen Rowe, campusreform.org contributor. Stephen, I don't know where to begin with this. It's insane, but uh, how did it get to this point? And, and what's even more disturbing is we, there's video of these protesters shouting down the president of this particular uh, college, and now they're upset, saying that they want that video taken down because it's an attempt to discredit them. Bottom line is, that's them. Absolutely, that's definitely them. And character is something that is shown under the assumption that you're not being recorded. And these students, true colors, really come out in this video. And it's, it's scary to see this is the progressive left on college campuses today. And they are not comfortable with what they have to say to the point where they want this video taken down now. And unfortunately, what they're going to realize in the real world real quickly is that you are responsible for your actions and what you're accountable for what you do and say. And I'm not sure if they figured out the Internet quite yet, but it's pretty <laughs> tough to get a video down. Uh, it's too late now. Um, <laughs> listen, there was a, a professor at this uh, university, Brett Weinstein. He's the one to say, no, I'm not going to be forced to leave campus. I'm a teacher here and I want to teach. I shouldn't be forced off the campus. Now they're calling for his head. They're saying, look, you should be fired. You're a racist. If this were the other way around, and I know we use that argument a lot, but it's true. If it were the other way around, there would be an absolute outrage. But it's OK in this case for this teacher to be asked to be fired. OK in these student eyes. And this professor, mind you, was saying no to uh, segregation. And he said, no, yeah. uh, the white people, right students should not be forced to leave this college campus. And now they want his head on a spike. Uh, and mind you, he's no he's no friend of the right. This is a progressive teacher. And the left is truly eating its own right now. This professor has come under consistent and constant scrutiny. They're calling for his head. They want him to resign uh, from his post all over him saying that, no, uh, we should all be here together in harmony and unison. We don't need to segregate like these students are advocating for. And finally, Stephen, I feel like him, rather than getting better as far as more time and the ability to actually have free speech on college campuses, it is getting worse, and we're getting more and more of these stories. Would you agree? I, I would certainly agree, and this isn't an isolated incident to Washington. We see this all the time at the Leadership Institute's campus reform. For example, in California and in Washington, D.C., there are schools that are actively trying to create segregated, safe spaces. And at another school, there's a new course coming up in the fall that's the abolition of whiteness uh, at a college <laughs> oh in God. New York. So this is not an isolated incident only to Washington and uh, where this campus is. Once they get out of school, as you say, Steve, there are no safe spaces. It's going to be a nasty <laughs> shock for these uh, students. Stephen Rowe, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, the